Hello PyGotham, uh, my name is Simon and I'm going to show you in just 10 minutes how to build, test and publish an open source Python library. Um, I'm actually going to publish a library while I record this talk. Um, this is a piece of code which I've been copying and pasting into projects for over a decade now. It's a very simple little thing that helps you create string-based um, shortened versions of numeric identifiers. I'll do a quick demonstration of what that looks like. Um, let's paste it into a Jupyter notebook and now if I do pid.fromint one, two, three, four, it says gxd. And if I do pid.2 int of gxd, it says one, two, three, four. So a very simple piece of code. Let's turn this into a package on the Python package, um, on the Python package index. So I'm gonna create a directory called pids. I checked, and this is a, an available name right now. And I'm going to add that file. Um, let's create a new file uh, called pids.py. We'll stick it in that folder and we'll paste in that code. So there's my code. Um, creating a package, all you need for sure is a setup.py file, which describes how the package will work. So I'm going to create that, and then I'm going to paste in this little template here. This is the simplest possible version of a valid setup.py file. I'm gonna give it the name PIDS, uh, version 0.1. It's a tiny Python library in the description. And the only module I'm gonna include is that PIDS.py file I just created. So now in here, we have two files, pids.py and setup.py. Now, if I run python3 setup.py sdist, this is where the magic happens. That command there created me a file called pids-0.1.tar.gz, and that is a file which I can install into any environment to install this package. You can actually demonstrate that once again in this um, Jupyter notebook. Let's pop that open and we'll do um, pip install path that, what was it, slash, dist slash, um, there we go, pids da 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 Run that, presses it, installs it, and now if I type import pids, I have pids.pid as a piece of code that I can start to run. So let's upload this to the Python package index. The way we do that is with a tool called twine. I can say twine, upload, dist, and then pass it the name of that file that I've just created. When I do this, it'll ask me to log in with my username and my PyPI password, so you'll need to create an account on PyPI before you do this. I do that, it shows me the upload, and it gives me a URL, and this is live on the internet right now. This is now a package which anyone in the world can install by running pip install pids. But you'll notice it says here, the author of this package has not provided a project description. We're missing our documentation, so let's build that now as a simple readme that we can add into that package. So here's a tiny bit of documentation I wrote earlier. I'm going to save that in a file called readme.md and VS Code can give us a little preview of it showing you what that looks like. It's not very exciting but it does explain what's going on. So now we need to bundle that into our overall package. The way we do that is by adding a tiny bit more of a recipe to our setup.py file. Um, here we go, I'll copy and paste this in. So we can add two more arguments here. Um, there's description, long description and long description content type. And here we're doing, we're calling a function I've written called get long description, which reads that readme file on disk and puts that in a variable. So we add this little bit of boilerplate and we set that as the long description. Um, I'm gonna bump up the version number to 0.1.1 to reflect that change. And now once again, we can run python3 setup.py sdist. Um, oh, it doesn't like that because I forgot the import OS there can do that. We now have a file in dist called pids 0.1.1. And again, if we do twine upload dist slash pids 0.1.1. And stick in those credentials one more time. This has given us our second release on PyPI. And this release you know, it's improved, it's got documentation. The contents of that readme is now available for people to see. So for our next step, let's add some tests. I'm going to need a tiny bit more boilerplate for this. I need to add PyTest as a test dependency. So I'll paste this in here. This is saying that the PIDs test dependencies are PyTest. And now I'm going to create myself a Python virtual environment. I'll call it vn. I'll do source bin slash bin slash activate it to activate it and I'm going to type pimp install dash e for editable of my current directory and its test dependencies. 
It's running this installs PyTest. Now, if I run PyTest, it runs my tests, except I don't have any tests yet. So let's create a tests folder, and I'm going to create a file in that called um, test underscore pids, pids.py. And the great thing about PyTest is that tests are really, really small, small short. So we can say a test from int, and it's going to say assert pids.pid dot from int one two three four equals and mzq. So I'll try running that test, and it fails because I got the wrong. It's gxd is the correct value, but I can stick gxd in, and now my test passes. I'll do that in the opposite direction. So I'll test test two int. I test that two int of gxd equals one two three four. And when those tests there, one, two, three, five, GXF, GXD, that's why. There we go. And so now I have a passing, passing test suite. And this can obviously be extended to be a lot more thorough. So the next step is to get this up on GitHub. I'm going to create a new GitHub repo called PIDs. I'll use the default settings for that. And then a handy thing about GitHub is it just gives you the commands you need to run for you to copy and paste in. So I'll do that. I'm going to git add my readme, my pids.py, my setup.py, and that test as well. Um, and then I'll paste in these four lines here, and that will go ahead and create that repository for me. But the really neat thing about GitHub these days is you can use GitHub Actions to run your tests for you. Um, and the way you do that is be by creating a GitHub Workflows directory. So rather than create that um, by hand, I'm going to copy that from a project I worked on recently. Um, my SQLite Explain project, I happen to know, has one of these. And I'm going to copy that folder here. So now, if we look in here, we now have a GitHub folder with a publish um, YAML and a test YAML. This right here is the one we're going to try out first. What this does is it installs the package under four different versions of Python runs that and runs those tests for us. So I can now do git add dot github, git commit github actions, git push, and over here, github will spot that the those actions have been configured and start running that test action for me straight away. You can see that this actually turns into four different jobs in github actions, one for each of those versions of Python that we are targeting. And it's already started running those. It's running them in parallel for all different four versions, all four different versions. If we look at this one here, it's um, set up some caching and called it's installed dependencies. It's run the tests and they've passed. And we can see the green ticks clicking in. And just like that, our tests have been run on four versions of Python. And our commit there even gets a little green tick to show what had happened. So I have one last trick up my sleeve. I'm going to push a new release directly from GitHub and um, without running anything on my computer at all. The way I'm going to do this is by creating a API token on PyPI called PIDs. I'm going to give it the scope of being able to publish to that PIDs project and that token. And I will copy this token and then paste it into the secrets for my GitHub repository. So I can do add secret, um, call it PyPI token and paste it in here. And now, anytime I push a release to this GitHub repository, my um, publish workflow will run and will publish that release. So I'm going to modify my version number. Let's call this 0.1.2. And I'm going to publish a new release. Um, release, it's create new release. It's going to be called 0.1.2. And it's just say added added tests full stop i hit the publish button and once again that action kicks into effect so this is my publish python package action which is running the tests first because you wouldn't want to publish a package if you haven't thoroughly tested it and once the tests have passed it fires up a deploy action which runs that twine upload script that i showed you earlier so this right here is um installing the required packages And now it's publishing that package up to PyPI. That's done. And here is a package on PyPI that was published entirely through automation using GitHub Actions. So thanks for listening. And I've published extensive notes on this at github.com slash simonw slash pygotham hyphen packaging.